Well, good morning. I'm John Coletto. Welcome to Auto Show TV. It's Memorial Day weekend. We're starting today's show from Majestic Honda in Lincoln. You know, with families getting out on the roads more and more now this time of year, we thought this would be a good time to take a look at one of the top selling minivans in America, the Honda Odyssey. And you know, this is the minivan that provides the vacuum cleaner that's built in. You've probably seen the TV commercials, and we're going to put it through its paces in just a minute. This is Casey Martin. He's the sales manager here at Majestic Honda in Lincoln. You sell an awful lot of Honda Odysseys. What makes them so popular? What makes the Odyssey so popular is it's the top in its segment in almost every category. From performance, safety, reliability, technology, it's the best out there. Well, I know there's a lot that we're going to take a look at, but let's start with performance because all five models I know come with the 3.5 liter V6, which is a big engine, but it does provide good gas mileage. It absolutely does. Now Honda's going to a six-speed automatic transmission in all models, which gives you a 28 mile per gallon highway rating. John, before we go inside the Odyssey, I just want to describe to you what about the power sliding doors on the Odyssey. Good. Okay. Uh, if you want to open it for me, just pull the handle. You can also open it other ways. There's a power switch on the on the for the driver, and there's also buttons inside the vehicle here to open and close for the passengers nice. inside. One thing you'll notice right away, when the window is down on the vehicle, the door only goes back so far. The reason for that is for safety. If you have a child or an animal in the car, there's no danger of it getting stuck in between that opening. Nice. So it's, if the window is all the way up, the door will slide back a few inches more. Yep. Give you more room to get to the back seat. Built into the, the vehicle is a sunshade, which is nice to have for infants or for small children. Sure. Another safety feature with it, when the door closes, if something was to get caught, of course, it will sense it and, and reopen the door so nothing gets jammed. Yep. Also, if the fuel door is open, the sliding door will not work. So this way, if someone's fuel in the vehicle, if a child goes to open it, no matter what you do, this vehicle, this door will not open. So I know there's a lot of versatility back here. Tell us about the different seat configurations. Absolutely, John. One thing about the Odyssey is it's a true eight passenger vehicle. Um, some of the minivans only offer a seven, so that's right. another versatile, versatile feature of the Odyssey. Most people tend to not need an eight passenger every day, so the middle seat is fully removable. On top of that, this model in particular has a rear entertainment system available. Um, there's a model above this that also has one with a dual screen rear entertainment system. In Casey, behind the third row, there's still plenty of storage. Absolutely. Even with the third row seat up, there's still plenty of storage. Let me show you. Okay, let's check it out. What's nice about the rear tailgate is you can open it by the remote. There's also a button on the rear of the hatch, and there's also a button on the dashboard to open it as well. Where's yeah. the spare tire? Spare tire is actually in the floor in the middle row, which is nice because it's inside the vehicle, so it's not going to get all dirty. So if you do have a flat tire, you don't have to worry about getting a very dirty tire that's been mounted under the vehicle for years. Nice. Show us how the third row can disappear. The Honda Magic Seat. Very, very simple. Pull up and let it fall. Swoop. You, you do it better than me. <laughs> look at that. That's it. Now look at the amount of storage space you have now. All right, so now the second row seat configurations, and there are many. <laughs> there are. Um, the most common, if you do leave it as an eight passenger, very easy pass through to the third seat. All you do is grab this handle. Whoop, excuse me. Slide it forward. Plenty of room. Plenty of room yep. for a, even an adult to yep. squeeze into the back seat. Sure. When you're all set, slide the seat back where you'd like it. Put it back up. And the seat comes out all together. All three seats can be removed. Uh, the middle row seat removes a little differently. There's two main straps. You lift mm -hmm. up and the, the seat will completely remove. Now another nice feature on the EX and above models is what they call push start ignition. Uh, you do not have a keyhole on the outside of the vehicle. There is just a lock button. I just locked the vehicle. Yep. You have to have the FARB with you, of course, or within proximity. But what's nice is when you want to lock the door, just put your hand inside, the door's unlocked. Very nice. Another technological feature, more of a safety feature, is Honda has Lane Watch on EX models and above. This is a small camera that when you put your right directional on, on the screen on the dash, will show you your blind spot. So before you swerve over, you can actually see if there's a vehicle in the lane before you proceed. Another really nice safety feature on all five models is a backup camera. Uh, it's standard on all models and it really helps because the visibility, because the height of the vehicle is a bicycle or a kid's toys behind the vehicle, it's very easy to see. Yep. Next safety feature, lane departure warning system. It's only available on the upper models, but what it does is it actually has a camera that follows the lines of the highway 
And if you're swerving in and out of the lanes without using a directional, it'll beep and warn you. Casey, I haven't even uh, asked you about the Honda VAC. Absolutely, it's what a cool feature. It's only available in the Touring Elite model, but what an awesome feature. No other minivan has it, and what a great tool. So here's where the Honda VAC is located, right here on the side. Now this is the Touring Elite model of the Honda Odyssey. So here's the VAC. It's actually made by Shop VAC, and you probably heard of Shop VAC. They do wet dry VACs. There's 10 feet of hose. We'll take it right out, and We'll take out the attachment. We'll use this one, okay, for demonstration purposes. Here's the button to turn it on. I mean, it feels like there's a lot of suction here. I have my official uh, concoction of childhood debris, kids debris, you can see that. Let's see how well this works. Really good, excellent. So here we are in the front seat, here's my debris field, and look at this. Plenty of hose to pick up all the way up to the front seat floor. All right, so let's put it away now. We'll shut it off. Put the uh, attachment back there. Let's see how well I can recoil this and get it to fit. Plenty of room in this little compartment. Put it right in and close it up, done. And I wanna show you too that this is where everything goes. So everything is kinda of caught right in here. It's uh, very easy to clean. Everything goes in this yellow bag and very easy to clean it out every once in a while, I'm sure. And that just put a new bag in Clip that back into place, go like this. How easy is that? Well, Casey, we learned a lot about the Honda Odyssey this morning. I know there's a lot of moms and dads who have said to themselves over the years, I'm not gonna become a minivan person, we're not gonna get, but after you see this, and maybe people come down to Majestic for a test drive and they really get an idea of what the Odyssey is, I think you're gonna have some converts. Absolutely. Uh, the Odyssey the, has the stigma of the minivan, but when you see all the versatility, the safety, the performance, and then the cost of ownership of the vehicle, really helps to convert people over to the minivan. Yeah, talk a little bit about the cost of ownership, because that's big. Absolutely. Uh, you know, some vehicles, that people see the initial purchase price of the vehicle. The real key is cost of ownership, which is the, over a five, six, seven year period, how much it costs to maintain the vehicle, uh, how much it costs in terms of reliability. But number one is resale value, which is the largest factor for that, is based on uh, fleet sales. Honda does not do fleet sales, or very limited, uh, compared to these comp competition. Yeah. So over a five year period, the Odyssey is the lowest cost of ownership minivan on the market. And great deals at Majestic. Absolutely, Majestic's been in business for 40 years. We've got two great locations in Rhode Island, one in Lincoln and one in West Warwick and you won't find a nicer Honda dealership to do business.